Sure. Here's a 20-paragraph article for a YouTube video script about the T-14 Armata, without any headings. The T-14 Armata is one of the most advanced main battle tanks in the world, developed by Russia as a next-generation combat platform. It was first unveiled to the public during the 2015 Victory Day Parade in Moscow and immediately attracted global attention due to its futuristic design and cutting-edge technology. Unlike traditional tanks, the T-14 Armata is built on a completely new universal combat platform known as the Armata Universal Combat Platform. This allows for modular designs that can be adapted for various armored vehicles, making it a truly revolutionary concept in modern warfare. One of the most striking features of the T-14 is its unmanned turret. This marks a significant shift in tank design philosophy, where the crew of three is housed in an armored capsule in the front of the hull, offering enhanced protection against enemy fire. The turret is operated remotely and is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore cannon that can fire a variety of ammunition types, including guided missiles. There are also plans to potentially upgrade it to a 152mm gun in the future, further increasing its firepower. The T-14's active protection systems are among the most sophisticated in the world. It features the Afghanit active protection system, which includes radar and interceptors capable of detecting and neutralizing incoming anti-tank missiles and projectiles before they reach the tank. Additionally, the tank boasts the Malakit explosive reactive armor, designed to deflect or absorb the impact of enemy fire. Combined with its composite armor and internal compartmentalization, the T-14 sets a new standard for crew survivability. In terms of mobility, the T-14 is powered by a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine, providing it with a top speed of around 80 km per hour on roads. Its suspension system and ground clearance are designed for both high-speed maneuvering and rough terrain capability. The tank also includes a highly advanced battlefield management system, allowing it to operate as part of a network-centric warfare environment. This enables real-time data sharing with other units and command structures, greatly enhancing operational efficiency. Another remarkable feature is the tank's radar and sensor suite, which includes infrared cameras, radar systems, and day-night targeting capabilities. This gives the T-14 superior situational awareness on the battlefield, even in low visibility conditions. The T-14 is also designed with automation in mind. Several of its functions, including target tracking and weapon control, are semi-automated, reducing crew workload and reaction time during combat situations. Its crew capsule is fully isolated from the ammunition storage area, which minimizes the risk of catastrophic explosions in case the tank is penetrated, a problem that has plagued many legacy designs. Despite being heavier than most Western tanks, the T-14 maintains a surprisingly agile profile, owing to its powerful engine and modern chassis. It has also been tested in various climate conditions, demonstrating high performance in both extreme cold and desert heat. While Russia has touted the T-14 as a leap ahead of Western tank designs, its deployment has been somewhat limited due to production costs and logistical challenges. Nonetheless, its presence has already influenced military planning in NATO countries. There has also been speculation about future export versions of the T-14. Countries like India and China have shown interest, but no confirmed deals have been finalized yet, partly due to the geopolitical implications of such transactions. The T-14 Armata is often seen not just as a tank but as a symbol of modern Russian military innovation. It embodies the shift toward unmanned systems, network integration, and survivability in modern combat vehicles. Despite its strengths, the T-14 has faced criticisms. Some military analysts question whether it offers a significant advantage over upgraded Western MBTs like the Leopard 2A7 or M1A2 Abrams, especially given the challenges in mass production and support infrastructure. As of now, only a limited number of T-14s have been delivered to the Russian army. Ongoing trials and modifications suggest that Russia is still refining the platform before committing to large-scale deployment. 
the T-14's impact extends beyond the battlefield. Its development has spurred other nations to rethink their tank programs, potentially accelerating the next generation of armored vehicle design globally. Whether it becomes a mainstay of modern warfare or remains a limited production prototype, the T-14 Armata has already carved its place in military history as a technological benchmark and the catalyst for future innovation. Let me know if you'd like a voiceover script version, visuals to match, or subtitles to go with it.